Inspectors are out to capture mosquitoes with these surveillance traps. We have a work cut out for us for the next few days because it appears that uh, the area is very wet, so there's a lot of standing water. Standing water is exactly what these pesky bugs look for to breed. The Monmouth County Mosquito Control Division regularly samples mosquito hot spots. Chris Norton's looking for mosquito larvae. Once he scoops it up, he treats the area with a mosquito pesticide. At times, they use this helicopter. Some areas are just too large to try to do by hand and on foot, so we have aerial blocks. Um, sites that we treat uh, with the helicopter. The Monmouth County Mosquito Control Division also collects old tires like this one that inspectors find while they're out on the job. Norton says they fill up with rainwater and don't evaporate quickly, making them the perfect breeding ground for mosquitoes. Mosquitoes thrive in warm and wet conditions and can start biting as early as April. Monmouth County entomologist Tony Aquaviva says May was a slightly higher than average month in terms of mosquito populations because of the rainy weather. So far, June's been below average. I, I don't like to give a season long forecast because things can change very quickly. We've been in a very dry period. Populations are very low. In the surveillance lab, Aquaviva analyzes samples found in the trap set throughout the county. Inspectors cut dry ice for this trap. The carbon dioxide attracts the bugs. This one's filled with stink water. Yes, that's what they call it. Basically, mosquitoes like really dirty water, uh, so the female go in there and attempt to lay her eggs on top of the water, and the fan on that uh, will draw the mosquitoes into the net. There are 63 different mosquito species in Monmouth County. Inspectors typically collect the same 30 species year after year. Each uh, mosquito has uh, scales and different morphological characteristics that we can use to identify down to species level. The findings are entered into a database. If there's an unusual spike in a species, inspectors will target that area. Aquaviva only tests female mosquitoes. The adult females are the ones that will cause a nuisance by biting and they will also transmit disease in some instances. The State Department of Health tells NJTV News there are no human cases of West Nile virus in New Jersey yet. The county division sends samples to state officials who test for West Nile virus, says Aquaviva, but he also tests in his lab. We have no evidence of the disease yet uh, within the county, uh, but we'll continue to look. The Monmouth County Mosquito Control Division recommends residents eliminate any sources of standing water around their home to reduce the pest population this summer. I'm Lauren Wonko, NJTV News.